Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch with a very unexpected third video on the day. And this one is weird because it's coming literally from out of nowhere. And that is that there is a bundle going on right now, a mega bundle for Unity. And these are huge. These are basically, if you're a Unity developer, amazing deals. But the strange part about it is there are no announcements about this anywhere. You can see it's on right now. Handpicked deals, mega bundle, save up to 95% on selected assets. They've sold 32 bundles. The weird thing is it is not uh, updating. So I just did a reload and they've still only sold 82 bundles. So I don't know if this one's just not meant to be public yet. You can see there's a countdown, seven days remaining. The strangest thing is I can find no mention of this anywhere. It is quite literally running um, here. I was given this link from Twitter. Uh, Unity hasn't uh, emailed me about it since I'm an affiliate. I generally get a heads up that these things are going to be happening. Uh, there's nothing on Twitter. There is nothing on the Unity blog. There is nothing on the asset store. So we go to the Unity asset store homepage. No mention of a mega bundle. Zip. Zero. Nada. So I got no idea what's going on. Coming to the sales category again, there's the publisher sale that I discussed this morning, which by the way has three free asset packs in it. So if you want to check that one out, there is a video somewhere off in the ether. And uh, yeah, if you're a, a Unity developer, I'm sorry, I am probably banging on your wallet pretty hard the last couple of weeks because quite frankly, there's just been some great deals. On that topic, by the way, the uh, Humble Unity FPS bundle, it actually got extended. This is so weird too, because Humble, uh, the bundle ended, it disappeared for a day and then poof, it came back. So if you're interested in picking up that bundle, I reviewed everything that's interesting there. There's another eight days left in that. I will link that down below as well. But today we are looking at this mystery bundle and the only reason why I even know about it is because of Bill over on Twitter. Thank you, Bill, uh, Canadian Edition 2.0. Um, he gave me the heads up on, and this is quite literally the only source of information on this guy anywhere. So we're going to take a look at what is in this bundle. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the idea behind it. So you can see here, uh, it's up on the asset store. I'm going to assume since it is here that you can go ahead and buy it. Another thing you're going to notice, see these things that are grayed out? That means I already own them. Uh, so these either came from previous humbles or previous mega bundles. So there's a pretty good chance that... Uh, um, you may own some of these assets already, but for the most part, it, it's a pretty comprehensive set of assets. As you see, it's organized like a humble into tiers. You've got a $20 tier, a $30 tier, and a $40 tier. You get the $40 tier, you're getting everything here. And as you can see, a single asset generally is in the $40, $45 range. So it's... It's a bargain. Now, if you're wondering if you are a not a Unity developer, is there anything of use to you? Yes, there are some. The music collections would definitely be useful. Uh, some of these environments like Toon City um, would be useful to you. But for the most part, this one is mostly all plugins and extensions. This one would be useful to you, the Deluxe Animal Pack. But that's about it. So this one is mostly for Unity developers only. So let's jump in and take a look. We're going to start at the $20 tier. We have four asset packs there. If there is enough interest, by the way, I could do some follow-up videos on some of these. There's not really that many that are really requiring follow-up videos. Uh, and since some of these are repeats, I've already done videos. So uh, the first one we've got in the, what was that, $20 tier is RPG Monster Wave Poly Art Pack. Pretty straightforward collection of monsters and so on. Next up, we have the new textures and standard pipeline conversion for Book of the Dead. I'm a little weirded out that that's an asset. Sounds kind of strange. Book of the Dead was a, a content pack that um, Unity released some time back. Uh, this seems to just basically be uh, for the new pipelines there, new textures in place and so on in this particular pack. Um, next up, we have the Animal Deluxe Pack. This one's pretty straightforward. This is one of the ones that would definitely be usable outside of Unity as well. And by the way, you are totally legally able to do so, although I am not your lawyer, so don't take legal advice from me ever. Kind of like don't take cooking advice from me ever. 26 animals with idle, walk, run, die, eat, and attack animations available on them. It's pretty straightforward once again. And then finally, we have the Cartoon Effects Remaster, which by the way, it was on, December, on February the 7th, 2021 that I got this. So I think that was a previous mega bundle. Uh, this one is a, connection, a collection of uh, special effects in cartoony styles. Uh, pretty straightforward once again. And that is that tier. So now we're going to move into the $29.99 US tier. And we'll go one by one again. Uh, the first one we got is the easy trail effect for the ERP, or the Universal Render Pipeline, and the Lightweight Render Pipeline. 
That's weird, because isn't the lightweight render pipeline now the Europe? A anyways, uh, I think that'd be standard pipeline and lightweight render pipeline, because I don't think... Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, this is a collection of cool trail effects in your project. Tool is perfect for you. It can integrate trail or ghost effects in your video without writing a line of code. Expose a lot of parameters so you can adjust them. So you can see some of the things you can do here. So, you know, trailing effects. Um, yeah, pretty much trailing effects, actually. So I guess it's well named. Uh, next up, we have Magic Arsenal. You can see one in action right there. There's a bundle of 430 magical particle effects, 37 unique. Uh, Arcane, Earth, Fire, Frost, Life, Lightning, Shadow, Storm, and Water. Next up, we have the 2D Pixel Unit Maker, or SPUM. That almost sounds pervy. Um, SPUM is a 2D Pixel Unit Maker for Unity game development. You can make your own pixel characters with it. It's very easy and powerful. Weird. All right, so this one I may have to check out just to figure out exactly what it is. But what it reminds me of is basically a character maker. Uh, oh, what's it called? There's the open one. I, I covered it on this channel in the past. But basically, it's for creating compound sprites out of various different pieces. I may have to check out Spum and see how it works. It looks kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that is one of the things. The 2D pixel unit maker. Unit maker is confusing because if you, you think pixel unit as in unit of measurement. But... They should call it more like 2D Pixel Sprite Maker, uh, and that would make more sense. But I guess SPSM isn't as good of an acronym as SPUM. Uh, so that was one I might definitely check out. Uh, we got Polygon, Polygon Arsenal. Uh, 1300 stylized VFX prefabs work in standard and ERP. Um, again, ERP and Lightweight Render Pipeline, I think, are the same thing now. So I'm a little confused there. I, I can't get over that. I'm sorry. Uh, 250 unique effects, 1300 prefabs, most effects available, four to six colors, uh, fire, frost, holy life, and so on. We can see some of the polygonal effects in action. Yeah, so on. So basically, it's kind of like low polygon particle effects. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that is pol Polygon Arsenal. Uh, next up, we have the Illustrated Nature. Uh, complete 3D environment pack using unique art style and techniques inspire other assets on the store. Personally packaged in the style to contain convincing wind effects with animated leaves, animated clouds, and tools. Uh, default 3D ready ERP and HDRP uh, via included packages. Uh, latest LTS supported version only. Uh, stylized vegetation models, uh, shaders, image effects, and scripts. Two demo scenes. Pretty straightforward. Uh, Character Controller Pro. Now, Character Controller Pro uh, obviously is a character programmer. Uh, it's needed. An intermediate level of programming is required to fully take advantage of it. Not a template game creator or similar. It's a 2D, 3D dynamic capsule-based character controller. It allows you to handle movement, rotation, and size of your characters in a precise way. It's built on top of Character Controller. Its main purpose is to give you nice and extensible components, character state, uh, input detection, AI, etc., allowing you to quickly create your gameplay elements without reinventing everything from the ground up. All right, pretty straightforward. Another Character Controller. Uh, I could potentially check that one out, but uh, ArchViz Pro Interiors Volume 2. Uh, this is another one that could be used definitely in... Um, Another engine. It appears to be an asset pack for arch visualization or architectural visualization, if you're wondering what ArchViz stands for. Beautiful industrial bedroom, seen as fully lit, pre computed real time global illumination, uh, five real time GI settings using Enlighten, seven lighting setups, 20 camera setups, HD textures, 85 low poly 3D models. Yeah, so if you're doing ArchViz work requiring a bedroom scene, yeah, they got you. All right, so there we go. That was the $30 set. Now we're into the $40 set. Obviously, that is like the no-brainer deal there because um, it's where they always load the best of stuff. And, of course, you get everything else. So you're generally not going to come in and spend 20 bucks and get four crap assets. You would spend twice as much and get four like four times more assets. So at the $40 tier, you obviously get everything else and you get Puppet Face. Uh, it's a facial animation tool set, automatic limp, lip sync, blend shapes, uh, uses webcam. There's a few tools out there like that. So if you need to do facial capture, uh, you can do so from your webcam, it seems. Um, next up, we have Dynamic Trees, Dynamic Nature. This again was back in September. So I got this one somewhat recently. Um, Available in lots of versions there. Uh, let's see. You'll find basically plants, trees, so on and so forth. Um, fir tree LODs, big different tree. Yeah, okay, so their wording here is very, very odd ordering going on. 
Uh, but basically, it is a set of tree assets ready to go. Uh, then we got Emerald AI 3.0. This was still faded out. I thought I already owned it, but I guess I don't already. <laughs> okay, so this one is um, fully supporting newest versions, Open HDRP, got to convert materials, the ultimate AAA quality AI solution for animal AI shooter, AI RPG, AI and NPCs and more, allows developers to quickly create engaging AIs with thousands of AAA quality features all without having to write a single line of code. AI designer makes AI easy. Um, you can set up AI in just seconds, any kind of AI built-in combat system, animation support, animation switching, setup behavior, and so on. This is one of the ones that definitely might be worth a follow-up. If you are interested, let me know. Comments down below. That is Emerald AI 3.0 uh, for, you know, adding artificial intelligence in your game. It's always interesting to see uh, how they custom implement things. Is it done as uh, a graph? Is it done? How are the tools done? Also, you see waypoint setups and so on are available. Interesting. So this is the tooling available. Uh, definitely let me know if you're interested in follow-up on Emerald AI. One of the more interesting things so far. Uh, we have an animal controller. Uh, it's an animation framework controller, root motion, or in place for any creature or humanoid asset. Uh, it was built for the ground up over three years of experience based on states and modes. States like location, idle, jump, fall, uh, modes like attack, secondary attack, so on and so forth. So it's another animation controller. Uh, next up, we have Dream Tech Splines. I purchased this on September the 3rd. Okay. Um, it's designed to feel like a native part of Unity leveraging familiar tools, interfaces. Uh, I just, did I cover this? I may have covered this one. Uh, it's, it's basically a spline tool. Uh, one of those things, they're actually building a spline tool into the next version of Unity. I just saw a tweet on that the other day. It's uh, the Pro Builder team tweeted about it, but it's part of the base Unity. But until that spline tool is built in, basically you can add one as an extension. Uh, next up, we have the Ultimate Game Music Collection. These are normally pretty straightforward. 200 musical track, unique tracks, musical cues um, in a number of different genres and themes. You can check previews out if you wish. Uh, by the way, this should be usable in whatever game engine you wish. Uh, next up, we got Survival Engine Crafting, Building, and Farming uh, is a game template to create your own survival or simulation game. It includes inventory, crafting, building, hunting, fighting, a save system, and much more. Uh, so you can see here is the much more. Things like pet behavior, saving, and loading, random world generation. Another one that may be worth checking out, even though crafting and farming games have never been my personal jam. Aura 2, I got this a couple of years ago. Volumetric lighting and fog system. Um, it simulates illumination of microparticles that are present in the environment, but too small to be visible. Uh, all types of lights supported. Yeah, basically a, a dynamic lighting system. So you can see, you know, God rays, directional lights, uh, the particles that you normally can't see and so on. That is it, the volumetric light and fog system. Uh, I can check that one out if I haven't already. There's a good chance I actually checked that one out in a previous video. Next up, we have Master Audio XX. That sounds pervy. So this is Master Audio AAA sound. Um, gives you tremendous ease of use, speed, power, flexibility, far beyond any contender. Why use an underpowered solution and waste your time writing code? We've coded every scenario. Ooh, that's a bold claim. I can come up with at least a thousand scenarios that didn't code for them. Maybe like a thousand stupid scenarios, but saying we've coded for every scenario is bold. Um, even if you even if you have your own flexible no coding event system to hook up, you don't have Playmaker, Occlusion, Colin, da 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 uh, I have to look into this one, to be honest, because I don't really know exactly what it is. It seems, to, again, it's need a multiplayer audio solution. My, no, that's a different thing. So this is not for multiplayer. It's an audio solution. I don't exactly understand exactly what it does. Um, it's, it's an extension to the audio functionality. It's one of those things I would have to look into to figure out exactly how it's better than the built-in audio solution. Uh, but if you need better audio in your game, Master Audio could be for you. Plus, it supports every scenario. All right. Uh, so next up, we got Toon City. Uh, this actually looks really cool. I love the art style, to be honest. 550 prefabs to build your own dream city. Uh, all these trees and vehicles and props and roads and so on. Uh, they're all small, 128 by 128 textures, um, all a few triangles, simplest model to 7,000 for the most complex. I, I, again, I really like the art style. I really like the art style, to be honest. 
So um, that is Toon City. This one would be usable outside of Unity as well. And then we've got Enviro Sky and Weather, a uh, complete dynamic AAA sky and weather solution. Uh, HDRP is currently in open beta. Um, so yeah, if you need clouds and fogs and weather and lightning and rain and so on, uh, this is the pack for you. So we're going to see some dynamic weather soon, I hope. There we go, some fog going on. And where's the rain? Come on, bring out the rain. Here's some, yeah, there we go, sky with rain effects. And yeah, so uh, sky and weather effects, pretty straightforward on the whole. Time of day system built in. And that is the bundle. Now let's see, 82 when we started. Let's do a reload. Uh, reload, come on, reload. Reloaded, still 82. So I don't know if this is meant to be public or not. You know what? While we're here on the video, I'm going to go ahead and buy it and make sure that everything works fine. So even if they've not published this, I'm going to make sure you can actually pick this up. So I don't want to expose all of my credit information, so I will pause this and see what happens. Okay, and I'm going to have to do some more blurring here, but yeah, it, it works. Order went through. Everything seems to be fine. Interestingly enough, there was $2 in taxes added for reasons I don't quite understand. So the full bundle is going to cost you $41.99. I have no idea whose taxes I just paid, but oh well. Uh, just do be aware, if you get the full bundle, uh, there is $2 in tax that's thrown on top. Uh, once you've got it, you'll notice there is the ability to assign seats. You go to your assigned seat, and you will find, hey, look, they're all there. Everything I just bought are here. And by the way, if you want to go ahead and assign something, basically you just come over here, pick the person that you want to assign it to, like so, and they get the seat. That's it. Uh, they seem to be auto-assigned. Zero out of one available. Click you. Assign seats. Hmm, why can't I assign that seat? Do I do it wrong? Manage seats. Assign to. Oh, okay, so it's automatically assigned to me. Oh, so it auto assigned it to me, it seems. Okay, so no, it seems to be good to go. And now if you just do one more set of due diligence, I'm going to make sure that these show up. So I'm going to see if Toon City is available in a project. So one more pause. Alrighty, so here we are in a Unity project. Let's go to the package manager and check for Toon City. Toon. Toon City. There it is. And grab it. No problem at all. So there you go. I also got a bit of an update while I was paused. Apparently, and this is from Bill again, this is posted on their Japanese site only. But as you can see from this video, Anyone can get it. So uh, I don't know if they're going to get more public about it or if this one's a secret just between us. Shh, don't tell anyone. Which actually goes ahead and makes sense of something because if I head back over here, you're going to notice there's always this leaderboard at the bottom. And I noticed a lot of the names are, um, you know, Japanese or similar. So yeah, maybe this is a Japanese only sale. It happens to work over here. Don't know. Uh, you may want to hurry on this one in case it's a mistake. But yeah, as you saw, uh, you can buy it. Oddly enough, randomly $2 worth of tax added on top. And you can redeem it, uh, at least for now. So if you want, check that one out in a hurry. Uh, again, it's not seemingly all that public. Again, only 82 bundles sold showing. Uh, 83. Oh, hey, that was me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this one's a super secret deal. Go get on it now. Uh, Mega Bundles are always a great deal. There's nothing really massively huge on this one. Everything's grayed out now because I own everything. Uh, but if there's here, if there's stuff here that you really want to see checked out, uh, maybe Puppet Face, maybe Emerald AI, uh, maybe Aura 2 if I haven't already done a video, uh, maybe the Master Audio. Uh, and, and I think the one I'm probably most interested in right now is Spum, uh, to be honest. I think the idea of a character creator directly inside of Unity is kind of cool. Uh, but if there's something in particular you want to know about, let me know. I'm going to be a little bit less about them because I know from that humble bundle I recently covered, there's been a lot of Unity content on the channel lately. And I do things based off, you know, what exists at the time. But I don't want to overdo it. And by the way, that humble, still going on. If you want to pick that one up, you got about a week left. I will link that down below as well. So, wow, it's been a great time to be a Unity developer. In the last month, you could get a ton of content uh, really cheap. Again, I apologize to your wallets, Unity developer, but hey, a lot of cheap stuff. And basically, even if you bought both Humble Bundles and this entire Mega Pack, that's still cheaper than some individual assets. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Comments down below. And also, again, you might want to hurry up on this one because it could be a bit of a mistake. Or I don't know. I really don't know what's going on here. But, yeah. That's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.